This village is called Iluaje, is a ghost town because of its name, Iluaje. According to history, it is said that the king's son got missing, and in attempt to find the son and bring him home, many herbalists were consulted. From Oyo to Ife, magicians were called upon from Adukiti and every other place possible. Yet no one could find the missing son until a stranger far from the village came and instructed the king and his son returned. The king was amazed and he asked, in search to discover the mystery of why this town is called Ilu Aje, town of witches, I decided to go see for myself with few of my friends. We planned our trip to Ilu Aje, town of witches, carefully making sure to gather all the necessary information beforehand. Okay, it is Ilu Adifa B Aje. So Adifa is like uh, to, 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 to seek God's face, like Ifa's face. Yes. Like that's uh -huh. the thing that the Babalawo does. Yeah. Ilu Adifa B Aje. Yes, yeah, yeah. so like a witch, uh -huh. to seek God's face like a witch. The town located deep down within a mystical forest was known for its intriguing history reputation as a hub for witchcraft. <laughs> In the story that we hear yes. about that uh, town. Uh, <laughs> sir, okay, first of all, let us explain to you. So we came to, we want to go to Luaje okay. because we hear the story of the name. Okay. A lot of people say this place is town of witches. Uh, no, 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 no. You understand? So since they say it's town of witches, so they are scared. When you say you want to go to Iloa, ah, they will no, be no. like, they will be like, ah ah. What are you going there? Everybody there is witch. Some people even say that ah, every no. woman there is witch. No, no, no. Then no, no. every man is, is a, a born of witch. Ah, no, 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 no. Ah, so no, the story that we hear about it is that uh, in the olden time, when Allah feels rain, not this Allah feel, but uh, they say he have one son that is lost. Okay. And they call us Baba Nawu and many people to find it, but nobody. He said before seven days, they will see that child. Mm -hmm. So, and then seven days, they see that that is why they turn. Ah, Adifa la Biaje, that is the story that we hear. And I think you understand what I mean. So, that is why. So, they call him Adifa la Biaje. Adifa la Biaje, which means and what? The color that is spoken is come true. Oh. <laughs> So at some time they now change the name uh -huh. because of the way they could not pronounce uh -huh. the longer name. Uh -huh. oh, okay. <laughs> not yeah. So we are going there to find out. You said we should cross over to just, the road, and there is another road that will link us there. No, just cross. Yeah, so not cross another straight. road. It's straight. Oh, okay. straight. Okay. Okay. But Thank you, you have to be very careful on the road because it's time of noon. Okay. Uh, so the road is not mm, It's good, but some area. Oh, okay, uh, so okay. no problem. Okay, okay. When you get there, you see the Aoba and so on. And so on. Oh, okay, we will find people who can talk. Ah, people is there. Okay, thank, okay. You, thank you very okay, much. No problem. Yeah. So, that's called this. As we embark on our journey, excitement and curiosity filled the air. The dense forest that surrounded the town created an eerie atmosphere, sending shiver down our spine. <laughs> so guys, right here we are in the village which is called Ilu Aje. 
which is town of witches and i'm here to discover the witches and wizard in this town which i don't believe is actually real but i'm here to discover and with me i have my man wow nature when i heard the story of this town and the way they call the name yeah, and then in yoruba that just translates to town of witches yes then i started to ask why then i started hearing that people okay i made a post on my on my facebook and people were saying don't go deal everybody <laughs> there is witch <laughs> you understand so okay. i am here today yeah, well, yeah anything they want to do me oh yeah the stories we have heard about Iluaje only added to the mystery, making our adventure all the more thrilling. Upon reaching the outskirts of the town, we were met with a peculiar sight. The buildings were old and looked abandoned, and the village looked like a ghost town. As we kept moving, we came across an elderly woman and her granddaughter. I can't solve. Oh, come. So, I'll buy you a van. Cobo, 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 With a kind smile, she welcomed us into her home, sensing our eagerness to learn. Mama shared the ancient tales of Iluaje. She revealed that the town's name translated Town of Witches. She said it is Ilu Aj, which means. Okay. Okay. That's Ilu Aj, not Aj. They are spelled the same way, A J E, but different pronunciation. She said it is Ilu Aj, which have same spelling as Ilu Aj, but have different meaning in the local Yoruba language. So she's saying that when we first got here, we had a misconception and then we were like, oh, this place is called Town of Witches. But now she has corrected us and we should not go out there and say it is called Town of Witches, but it is Town of Prosperity. Prosperity in terms of um, having many children, being fruitful and multiplying. As we left Mama's home, we began to understand and learn about this town and the misconception of what people think and say about this town. I want to let me let me start by saying you are doing a great job. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Most importantly, because you want to expose, you want to tell the world what is what is the truth about this community. Is that yes, not true? Sir. Yes, sir. Okay. We are glad seeing you here. And as a matter of fact, it's, it's, it's absolutely correct for you to have come and get the, 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 the correct news so that instead of carrying a rumor, a rumor then you hear, you hear from the husband. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Reverend G. Eniola, just the priest of the community. The mystery of Iluaje had become clearer and we realized that the town label as town of witches was not something to be feared, but rather embraced and celebrated as it is town of wealth. 
omo adifase bi aje ilu yin mu ilu aje ni omo aje lati igba na ni ati wa nso ni ati so ilu ni ilu aje ke wa se yi pe aje to ma npa omo aje eni to ndifa ti se bi aje ni o fi so ilu ni ilu aje ni gba na pe omo adifase bi aje gbogbo wa ba se wa ni nsin gbogbo omo to ba di omo ile yi lati gba na omo adifase bi aje ni a ko si ilu meji ti ba wa je omo adifase bi aje tori pe bi awon baba wa ba di fa omo nse nti fa o nti ba so nti fa awon ba so pe yo sele yo sele ki ilu ode to bi o eyin gba na won wa fori kori won wa pe ki ilu yi omo pada to je ilu wa je ni lo fi an je ilu wa je bayi returning home it took me weeks to share this our new found understanding with the rest of the world dispelling the misconception that surround the town our adventure to ilu wa je had not only satisfied our curiosity but also taught us valuable life lessons we came to appreciate the importance of finding out first before passing wrong information. And most importantly, we discovered that the true magic of Iluaje lay in the unity and understanding of its residents. Whether they were witches or human allies, we only see smiles on their face. And that is why we in Nigeria to the world gives you everything. <laughs> However, the myths and rumors often blur the lines between truth and fiction.